Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at solving simple stats on the Sharp EL738F financial calculator. To do this we'll be using the second function key, looks like this, located here. The mode key, that looks like this, located here. The enter key, that looks like this, located here the comma key with the XY in it, it looks like this, located here, and the RCL or recall key looks like this, located here. So the first thing we want to do is put our calculator into stats mode. To do that we press the mode key and that brings us to this screen here. We get normal 0 or stat 1. Here we choose between our modes and since we want to be in stat mode, we press 1, and it'll bring us to this screen, and we want 0 for simple stats. So we press 0, and there we go. This is our stats screen. Now this is our data set here, 60, 20, 10, 10. We can start entering it in with the 60, so we just type in the 60, and then hit the Enter key. There we go, we see a 1 there, that lets us know we have one item in our data set now. Next we have 20, so we enter 20 and hit enter. There we go, two items in our data set. And next we have 10, but we have 10 twice here. So what we can do is use the frequency to enter it in twice. So we write the 10, and then we use this comma key here so that we get a comma after the 10, and then we enter the number of times that the 10 occurs. Well, for us that's twice, so we'll hit 2, and then hit the Enter key. Now you'll see a 3 for your data set here, it won't go up by 2, but just know that has entered both 10s. Alright, our data set has now been fully entered, and we can start finding some stats. First, let's look at N, or the number of items in our data set. To get that, we press the RCL key, and then 0, which has the n on the top right there. And here we see n equals 4, which we know is correct because we have 4 items in our data set. Looks good. Next, let's check the mean or x bar. To get that, we use the recall key and then 4. And there we see we get 25. So the mean of our data set is 25. Next up, we can find our sample standard deviation, or large sigma x, by going recall 5. And here we see we get a sample standard deviation of 23.8047, etc. Which, yep, that's correct. We can also determine our sample variance by squaring this number. So to do that, we hit the second function, and then the period key here, with the second function of x squared and equals, and here we see we get a sample variance of 566.6666, etc. Next up we can get our population standard deviation by using the recall key and then the 6 with the small sigma x there. And we see we get a population standard deviation of 20.6155, etc. And again, we can get our population variance by hitting the second function key, and then the period key down here, and equals, and we see we get a population variance of 425. Next, we can get a sum of our data set by hitting the recall key, and then the plus minus key, and we see we get a sum of 100, which is correct. Remember, our data set was 60, 20, 10, 10. So, that adds up. And finally, we can get a sum of squares of our data set with the recall period key. And we see we get a sum of squares of 4,200. Alright, once we're done with our data set, it's a good idea to clear your data so you don't make any mistakes. With second mode, your data set will now be clear. And if we want to go back into normal mode, we press the mode key and choose zero for normal mode. And we should be back and ready to do our normal calculations. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.